Hi, we're Abe and Mel. This is our 2015 Ram Pro Master 2500. This content is sponsored by Outdoorsy. Through Outdoorsy, you can rent your camper van out to make extra cash, and you can rent a van to try van life before you commit. I've wanted to travel around for years, and after Abe got laid off, we found this van in Tennessee, decided to get it, and finished converting it. It was about 40% converted, and we finished the rest. Come on inside of our van, and we'll show you around. First thing in our van is the kitchen. We add an extension on our countertop here with these brackets. We wanted the extra room for when we cook and then also a little desk space for the swivel chair. Our cabinets here are from Habitat for Humanity. It's one of the ways we save money on our build. We have our kitchen supplies in here and then pots and pans in the bottom one. We did change out the handles to be custom ones that we would like but rest of it was already built and made. We also added on these baby locks to keep the drawer shut while we are driving. This is our kitchen set up here. This is the um, faucet has been great for us. You can move it around. After we bought and installed this sink, we realized a lot of van people already have it. So we wish we would have went with something different. Down below is where we have our gray water and our clean water. It is on an electric pump. In order to do that, you just push the button here and that turns it on to trigger the motor. We have jugs on the back of our hitch for additional fresh water, and then our gray tank is a jug as well. That's right inside here. Our sink is just on cold water only. This backsplash here is something that Abe has been wanting in the house that we flipped, but it was a little expensive, so we were glad that we could use it here. It is from Home Depot as well. After looking into it, um, we decided we didn't want the um, fixed shower slash bathroom simply because a lot of van lifers end up using it as storage and we want it to have more than one use but we also wanted it um, in case it gets cold rainy things like that you're in a campground can't do it outside here we have our hidden shower slash bathroom with a usable counter it flips up like this Swings open like this. As I showed you, it goes up like that. Portable toilet, this can be used inside or outside. We just use um, cedar chips. Um, very simple, use yeah, bags, um, put cedar in the bottom, um, use the bathroom, throw cedar on top, and it doesn't smell. In order to use the shower part of our build, we do have to remove all of this stuff. So this is our shower basin. Uh, it's a Copex brand. We got it off from Amazon. So I was looking up shower basins or baths and they were all for humans and they're all basically too big. I thought to look up doggy baths and found this. For our curtain tracks, we got these off from Amazon as well. Uh, you can bend it any which way you'd like. Our curtains go around here. We'll plop it inside here. This curtain track goes all the way around. Um, that prevents splashing. So we don't have running water. Um, that was something we just didn't want to do quite yet. And with the time that we wanted to um, put into it, you want to get, get out and hit the road. So we have this solar shower put out in the sun. Just clips right on here. It does hang down pretty low. So when you're taking a shower, you're going to have to squat down. But it's worked very well for us. These cabinets here are our bathroom supplies and our pantry. Uh -huh. We use some plastic wiring shelves from Walmart actually to organize it. And then down here at the bottom is our shoe cubby. These doors here we got from Habitat for Humanity as well. They were only a dollar a piece, so we actually ended up building the cabinet around the size of the doors. This here is our entertainment center, we call it. It was already built when we bought the van. It has our slave for the solar controller. This is our inverter button for power on and off. And then these are our light switches. Down we also have a microwave, some extra storage. It is ran off of our inverter so we power it on from here. We have a 4000 watt inverter. These are our light switches here. We have one for the back which control four lights. This one for the front which has four lights as well. And then we have our twinkle lights which is great for movies. This is our dual zone fridge. It's an Alpicool. It runs off of 12 volt. It is AC and DC both. Our fridge freezer stores about a week to two weeks of food, depending on what we end up buying. In the back of the van, we have our table mounts for our floors. The legs we store right at the edge here, and the tabletop is right here. 
We have two of them, so one can go there and one can also go here for a complete four feet of table. So here we have our bed set up. Um, it's a Murphy bed. The reason we went with that in our build was just to have extra space throughout the van. To set it up, as you can see, Mel's moving over the cushions over to here. Um, if we just dropped it down, it would be a full right now. Uh, but with these cushions, we're gonna put those down there once we drop it, that'll turn it into a queen. This Murphy bed is a Zionist green tea memory foam mattress. It is full size. With our foam pieces that are our couch cushions here, it turns into about a queen size. So the room is very nice. It does take a little work to put the bed down, but it's definitely handy to be able to have benches and not have to make your bed every day as well. The couch cushions are foam pieces that we cut to size and the covers are curtains that we got from Walmart. It's a special material that makes it easy to wipe off. These cabinets up here are our dressers. They are on gas struts with five pound locks and they've been very handy to have. It hasn't been too hard to get to them with the bed open as well. Right above the bed here we have our Max Air Fan. It has been very handy to have. In the very back of the van we had someone install two windows for us and they come with sliders. So having that fan above brings great airflow in from the back window. So that was a very good investment to have the windows that have the sliders with them. So a lot of our storage is inside these benches. We have workout equipment, batteries on this side, instant pot, all sorts of different things. Just flips up like that. We have um, yeah, our coats, filters, doggy bath, mulch, all sorts of stuff. In this one we have our entire electrical system, our two 200 amp hour batteries, um, and our workout equipment as well. Everything runs off our 300 watts of solar on our roof. Uh, we can run our instant pot off from that, all of our lights, microwave. Thank you for joining us on our van tour and checking out. If you want to follow along on our travels, check us out on YouTube and Instagram. And we hope to see you on the road. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.